everyone, Laura Lynn from the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop here. Happy to see you. This week we're working on Get to Know My Neighborhood Block. Thank you for joining us today. We greatly appreciate you here at the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. This week we'll be working on the Every Other Week project that I have going on. It's called Get to Know My Neighborhood and I'm building blocks that represent the neighborhood that I have moved into and have grown to, to, to know and to love as we're going along. So this block here represents the beautiful singy songs of the chickadee that has been serenading us for, for many a month now and I absolutely love it. You can hear it in our live streams and our videos but when the windows are open and uh, hopefully I did a good representation of the bird um, and I just, I'm just loving it. I'm having, I'm having a good time with this whole, whole project. So, um, if you didn't know, you got to make sure you enter to, to enter to win one of these at the end of the year. Uh, as I'm doing one block for me and pretty much one block for you, uh, the winner. And you could, so make sure you leave a comment below. Okay. So we can put, make sure to put you in the draw. So we're going to make this block right here. Okay. Super cute. So I have some green branch for the trees, some brown and yellows for the bird, as well as this a little uh, um, batik fabric, and then some lovely little greens left over to, for, to make in the leaves, okay? And I just wrote the musical notes in with pencil first and then a permanent marker, okay? All right, so how we're gonna build this out first, we're gonna have to cut out our tree. So uh, this is what I did is I laid it with my heat and bond paper and then traced out a basic sort of tree form. Now remember, you gotta make it sure it's going one way because then when you cut it out and flip it to put it down, it's gonna lay the other way. So think about that when you're doing your placements. Although of course you could have just flipped it over here and done the, you know, whatever, whatever you like, whatever you like. So first we're gonna cut out here using the black lines as a uh, rough estimate. It doesn't have to be right on the line, we're, just, we're building a tree okay not not building a piano we're just building a tree okay it is a very lovely summer day here on east coast nova scotia canada I'm sure everybody has been going through, or a good portion of people have been going through uh, some massive heat wave lately. Okay, I'm just cutting around this. I think I got all the other sun's cup out. We only had this one to do, so. And you can use your like a little fine point scissors or something like that if you like. You could use brown fabric. Your, your tree can be any color you like. I thought of using brown, but it had like the browns and the yellows and the bird already. So I'm like, let's go with green, just a darker green. Okay, and this is where the bird's gonna kind of like sit up on or next to this little branch part here. So I just kind of extended it as far as I wanted to go. I'm gonna cover, the, the bird's gonna cover most of that anyways, or, or a little bit, a little bit of it. Okay, so come on down and we're finished. Okay, and then of course these little scrappy bits just go back into the pile because you never know what I could use them for. Okay. And now that we have our tree cut out, we're gonna peel it and stick it. We're gonna stick that one first. We're just gonna get it down. Okay. Now put it in a position where you are comfortable with. I'm trying to make mine very similar to the first block. Okay, I'm trying to do my best that I can to, to keep it as consistent as possible between the two, the two blocks to make the quilt project beautiful. And I am working on my little portable ironing board I made. Okay, and I'm just gonna make sure this stays first and then we'll start placing out the other ones. Okay. All right, now I can start building up where our bird is. Okay, I have my bits right here. So what I just went and went and found a chickadee coloring book page and just took the basic shapes from that. Okay, I did grab a brown for the body, a yellow for the wing, and like a, just a little bit of a multicolored for the tail and that'll go under there. And then the beak will go there. And then I've got some lovely little leaves 
leaf shapes that I've just cut out of some green fabric and we'll place those all the way around. Okay. So let's place this down. Because we're trying to make it as, as similar to the first. Okay, so let's just lay it first down and then once you're happy with the situation, then that's when you can give it a good press, okay? Now this has just been a heat and bond project. We did do a video on uh, the, a few ways of how to applique this down if you wanted to. I'm pretty much just gonna probably quilt it to death between the two of them and everything's gonna stay anyways. So I'm gonna do a very dense feather stitch out and it's just gonna stick everything together, okay? So we want to make sure our little, our little beak is kind of lined up. We're going to give it a little bit of dimension, hence why I'm kind of putting it a little bit back on the face or the body of the, the, the chickadee. Okay. And then this goes between the wing and the body, the tail bit part. That's because the way it looked like in the, in the drawing. So I, that's, the only, that's why I'm doing it that way. I'm gonna peel. All this has been already heat and bonded, right, to the fabric, and you just want to lay it in a way that looks good. And as like I said, it's trying to get as similar to the top one or the top on the first one as possible. I'm thinking that that looks pretty good. Maybe straighten a little bird up just a smidge. Tweak his little beak. And once we're happy with those, where it's positioned, then we just go and give it a little press. I think I'm just gonna scoot the tail up so it's hiding right underneath that wing. We're not seeing any bit of the back of the bird. Okay, so let's give that a press. I'm happy with that. Okay. Just straight down. Don't, don't rub back and forth, just straight down. Lift up, straight down. What you're doing is you're warming up the very thin layer of glue that's on the back of the, the heat and bond or the bonded fabric or bonded um, material and you're making it stick, okay? Very nice, okay. Now, what we can do is with our little marker, actually, let's, we'll let that cool first, but with, with the pencil first, I just drew in a few musical notes. Like you could just go look up online musical notes, you know, get the shape of them. Um, I'm not sure what notes these are. Pop, I'm sure, could tell me, um, as well as Miss Gwenny <laughs> and, and, and all you other musical uh, inclined people. And then just gonna make the basic shapes of the musical notes just from, from school and just make it so it kind of looks like our little fancy talker is singing, singing to us. So I just did it basic with pencil first and then come back with a marker to solidify. And now this one's a little up and then here. And I, I want to make them the same as much as I can. Okay. And then I'm going to come back in and do it with a permanent marker. And the same with to put a little line in the beak and the eye. So to make sure the eye was in the proper spot, I took the heat and bond applique uh, paper piece and I laid it with the, um, the side that I had drawn on it the first time down. And you can see we're here where the eye shape is. And then I took it and I folded it right where the middle of the iris would be or tried to be. And then that's when I gave this a little mark for where the, pu where the pupil would be. And then you just kind of draw a little moon shape above or a little curve shape above and a little cur curve shape below, okay? And that's how I got the eye, okay? And then you just come back in with your little Sharpie marker, either fine tip or medium tip. It's, it's up to you. It depends how big you want to make your notes, okay? Oh, I shouldn't have colored that one. Uh-oh. It's okay. This one will be different. Okay. And then down and circle and down and circle. And because this is a permanent marker, it shouldn't go anywhere. Okay. And you just write whatever news if you wanted you could actually pick a song and put those musical notes on there like if you wanted to have a, a specific uh, tune the bird was singing if something that was a, a special um a special song for you 
or your your loved ones. Okay, let's color these ones in. Okay, and then just for the little bit of the line for this, the break in the beak, I just kind of did a line about three quarters of the way. That's it. That's it. And then a little curve on the wing, a couple down the tail, and that's that. Now we take our bigger leaves and our smaller leaves and peel them all off and place them about. I think we'll peel the paper first and then we'll lay them out. And of course you can have as much foliage or as little foliage as you like. For such a little uh, bird package, uh, it certainly has a very big voice. It has a very, very catchy, loud song. And it doesn't bother me at all. I, I, like, I like hearing the birds. I like hearing nature. I'd rather hear the birds than the squirrels fighting. <laughs> Do a little more green? Nope. Okay. All right. Now, we're just going to lay some of our little leaves around. Similar to the first one. Okay. Here here and here. No, we'll go there. We'll need to have to cut another green one. Okay, that's okay. No worries. We could do that after. Oh, no, it's right here. Ha! Thought maybe I missed it. I was going to say, did I miscount? I didn't miscount. I just misplaced. <laughs> there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Perfect. All right. We just have it so the leaves are just touching the tree branch and then we press. It's, it's hard sometimes if you're so used to pressing and uh, moving around the iron, it's so hard sometimes not to just move the iron around. It's a different art when you're trying to do applique than just trying to iron a shirt. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We have our two beautiful birds. Oh, I have to I'll, uh, go around the eye too. And I, uh, no worries, I'll do that. There we go. Our pu two beautiful little chickadees. Awesome. Very nice. I'm liking them. I think they look really cute. All right, there we go. And now we're just going to do a quick little review. I just want to make sure people, if they haven't uh, seen the, the prog progression of this, uh, get to know my neighborhood right from the beginning. Uh, we're going to do a little review right now, okay? So here is block number one. It was some trees. Two, cute little house. Three, the beautiful flowers that were starting to bloom. And then the little leaves, the leaves that were starting to come out onto the big oak tree in front of the house. Lovely little stack of houses in New Glasgow, beautiful, beautifully colored. The gorgeous eagle that we, many of them that we'd seen. Put a little sun there. Cute little uh, bird houses. The lobster shack that's literally just right down the road. The beautiful loud houses that we saw on our adventure with Miss Allison and Eric, and Mr. Eric. Beautiful hummingbird that has come visit inside the shop several times as well as hung out outside. The beautiful sailboats that we see in the harbor, in the Picto Harbor. The beautiful bees that really help pollinate all these beautiful flowers and plant growth around this, um, this province. So to honor the bees. And then we had those, the lovely cows, the 30 cows in the back field, not our cows, uh, just a farmer that's using our field and they will be back, but only for a couple weeks and they're gonna be back up into the, the upper part uh, for the winter. So, and then of course we have the last one, not the last, but the, the recent one right here is the chickadee. So that is how our um, Get to Know My Neighborhood has progressed so far. It is looking amazing. I'm loving the colors and I can't wait to actually put this all together as to one big quilt block. I didn't think I was going to put sashing in between the blocks. Uh, I'm still iffy iffy on that and whether I want to. If anything, it would be very thin and maybe just like a black or a medium gray sort of color just to kind of separate a little bit. I'm unsure yet. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out as we, as we go along towards the end of the year. So 
Um, thank you very much for joining me today. Greatly appreciate you. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please do so. It really does help us and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Uh, and, and don't be afraid to share it with people and tell people about us. We, 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 we love, we love that. So thank you everybody. Big hugs to you and hopefully you make yourself a nice little chickadee block. Take care.